Hi, this is Jay, and I'm with Base Legends, and we're taking a look at Whispers of the Islas. We're going to see if there's any base building involved in it, and what is it all about. So if you're interested in the game, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe, and let's jump into it right now. So, we got this copy from the developer. We're going to take a look at the demo. I'm going to just clear this out. I was just trying to see what it looks like. Just jump into the game and get a start of it. Aranthor, the site of my ancestors' really greatest so failure. Far. An age has passed since the War of Faith, and the dead gods have all but been forgotten. Really good. Aranthor for waits, yearns for their it. return. I will not and fail. Definitely like in the narration. It did a really good job in the front a gate good is voice watched. Action. I will find my way in the dark. <laughs> well, well. Those who most need the light so. of the living gods. Let's move forward with the tutorial. Okay, so in the interaction, you'll get these little areas that you can interact with different things. Wrath's feral urges burn in my so blood, desire, madness's cackling, echoes in my mind. You to reveal things. I and must choose. I am the first so prophet of the dead gods. Three different gods. I go will with, guide go their ascension. The, the wrath, you can go with desire, or you can go with madness. I'm gonna go with madness, because... I like the whole the void can be a Cthulhu mythos and Behold. So <laughs> the lies of the living structures on I have much madness. work to do. He goes off and does his work. Okay. So we enter the dungeon. This is what a dungeon looks like. Uh, each time you go into a dungeon or each time you go into the city to do some combat, you get a set of cards that you're able to assign to your person. Um, your leader and every time that you fill this out as soon as the end the dungeon end of the city that you're in those get all cleared out so when you start the game or start the next dungeon you build that as you go into it again so you have this one's from desire you have this one's from madness and then each of the different things that it can have so you can actually build your leader in different ways each time you go into a dungeon so that's something that's rather cool and interesting. So we have block replenishment, enemy sanity after critical, critical chance, that aspect. Um, really like any of these, but I guess we're gonna go critical chance. I have more fun. Lessons are stored in this area, which is over top of where I am. We're just going to right click at that. Okay, we have three meters, so we have health, the sanity, and then our loot percentage. Um, health is just your initial attack. Sanity is what you use your gifts for. So I'll show you what those are once we get into combat. So Peculiar. Another blessing the lack here of gods. this. Um, gifts have 20% chance to activate for double. Ooh, that's good. Um, uh, found secret loot. So I'm going to go with that one because it gives us duration. So that was one of the options that we picked. Okay, we can go rest or we can go treasure. I'm going to go rest so that we can increase our loot. When you go to rest, you can do three things. You can rest and get more health, which is going to reduce your loot from this. You can meditate, which gives you more sanity, but you reduce the loot from it. And you can do reorganize, which actually gives you more loot. So we're going to do that so we get 10% more loot now because we start out with that and then we're gonna go with treasure okay we entered a thing we have abilities that we could start out with but we don't have those options so we're just going to fight okay so here is our combat it's turn based we start off first we select our abilities we have standard type meditation bewitching strike i am going to go with bewitching strike because they have less sanity than they do health and this is one of the reasons I also chose to do Madness. And then for this one, we could increase our invasion. I'm going to do Maneuver, because that gives special 
I'll talk about sports specialist a little bit later. Enemy has their attacks. Here's the gifts. So this is what's cool. And once we have the stats, that's good. Channel of Divinity, okay. And when we can start an auto battle. So with the gifts, you have you start out with these three from each of the different gods. You have Wrath's gifts, which gives you another action. You have MP which is Desire's gift, which gives you extra passive. And then you have the Madness gift, which is you reduce sanity quicker. So for me, I'm going to want to do Howling Frenzy, which is going to give me a bigger attack. The reason I went with Madness is they have this little skill that does sanity damage as well. So we get three sanity. We have the maneuver, which just gives us a special. When we build up the special, it gives us our special ability. Because we went with Madness, we have Web Rejuvenation, which gives us more sanity. So we're able to use more gifts. Our sanity is what allows us to choose gifts. So let's go ahead and start the turn. This plays out. And really like these animations. We get our three attacks in. Nice. The attack is back. Am I right? No. Oh. We did want to do that. I guess that would have been helpful for that. Alright, we're not going to do any of those. We just attack. And again, once we get any of things that are behind my. You can see kind of right here. These are your my storage blood. of your <laughs> different no. abilities that we have. Okay? After each fight, you get to choose a common ability. So we have Aspect is successful. Our gifts are minus four per attack received. So that sounds like a good thing. Grab that. Gold. Okay. So we got the key. Once you unlock some of these, quick random key will sign, which allows you to get out of the dungeon. Quick here, at the end of the dungeon, you always have somebody that's going to you so let's go ahead and fight them right howling frenzy let's hope that we can double on that we have maneuver which is going to increase our special do we want to do anything else no all right so let's start sadly they had a special ability that allows them to evade but we had to do extra attacks so it's good that little moon that comes over, that's also them doing a critical. So if you see any of that, that's just showing that it's a critical that had happened. Okay, and I'm going to use Envy just so that I have some evasion right off the bat. Alright. We're building up our special. Each attack gives one, as you can see with the details. And another reason why I'm focusing on the Uchman Strike is once you get their sanity to zero, that damage now becomes attacking to their health. Sanity depleted, incoming to sanity damage will be added to normal damage. So, as you see, these are all now reduced cost because of our ability. So, that. That was a critical on our part, and one more attack should knock them out. All right. The Again, gods really watch like how these animations approve. are, and how they are drawn. Your life sale, your life sale. Even though we're at the end, All right? So at the end, you can choose to go deeper, which is a fairly decent uh, ramp in difficulty. And then you have return to sanctum, which is basically gets us back to where we're encroach. All right. Okay, so we got some armor, and they have a lot of good cutscenes or loading screens that come in that are very well animated. I like how each of the art is like hand drawn, or not hand drawn, but very well designed. So, starting our first day here. These cultists test my patience. Okay, so this is our like base of operations. 
So the closest thing that I can tell you that this is to is this is a good mix between Darkest Dungeon on one hand and Cult of the Lamb. So Darkest Dungeon style like look and feel and how combat is sort of. It's a much more simplified version because you're only dealing with one What's person, your leader that's Nothing. going out and doing these things. Hmm. And then Cult of the Lamb is more of how you're managing all of your cultists here, how you're building up your, basically your cult. And so, what this is what this it gives you little missions, sanctuary. okay, repair your chambers. So here's our sanctum, still going through the thing. We have all of our resources at the bottom, writings. It is basically just what has happened. Okay, here's our sidebar, it has a little bolt. It has, there are different areas within the sanctum. Go in here, gives us a black market. Um, workshop allows us to develop and improve I have never things. Known. Such comfort. Skill points, items, gifts, core blessings, and then followers. So we have one skill point, so if we wanted to put that into like cunning, for example, gives us more loot. Wisdom is going to give us more sanity, and strength is going to give us more health. So go back. We have renovation. Each of these four locations has a renovation tab that you use this material for renovating allows us to augmentations for the vault that we can assign and that gives us gold now and then we have tails which i'm going to skip this real quick and then go out of it is what i want to do is go back over here this is all run down so this is the base building element that the only base building element that it has so if you go into vault you go to the workshop we can click here, we already have the five. Your five. sacred altar is restored. So this is the customizing of your base. You have this altar, you choose what is on your altar. I'm gonna go with something a little bit more fitting. Okay, you have on this side, you can choose your statues or designs. I'm gonna have two matching ones. You have this background behind it. The madness one looks amazing. We have an archway. I'm probably gonna use the same one. Yep. All right. And so that is what it looks like for the building aspect. And that's really all it has. But whenever you go here, you have this nice altar. And you have your own personal chambers. But what I can say about there, there's a lot of different things that you can, as far as stats go of renovating things, Similar to Darius Dungeon, you have your renovating of the different areas, which each of the renovations the vault should be organized so better. This one gives us passive acquisition of supplies. Augmentations for the vault. Next one is unlock purchase of secrets. I'm not going to do that right now. We have a black market for us to be able to purchase more supplies, which is going to unlock more things. And. Let's go ahead and start what they were wanting us to do. Whispering Tombs is your tutorial, or not tutorial, my bad. Whispering Tombs is kind of your compendium that allows you to see different things. Tales, let's go to the town. And Each the difference between the town and the dungeon is there's a slight the difference. Wind. With the dungeon, you kind of just in a room. Bloodline. In the town, or however, once you pick your first initial common card and let's see perfect form lifesteal loot i'm gonna go lifesteal since we're early on okay so uh, here's what's the difference with this you kind of can walk freely anywhere you want on the thing we get a cultist here and you kind of go through each of these different things till you get to the exit so we walk over here get our blessing we can choose loot reduced Passive activation, 
health, 15% per enemy special. I'm gonna go with more loot, get some more money. Go take a fortune here, get some gold. So, if we wanna go here, you see the current path is towards this. Monitoring guard grounds has one that has a 50% chance of us encountering somebody that we won't get any benefit from encountering them other than that they reduce our health and they we need to fight. So we want to right click, switch the path. Let's go to this combat. Right, wild dog. So we take what we have. We already have bewitching strike, we already have special passives. Ooh, before I start the turn. Let's equip these. We got lifesteal. We got winning after combat, so let's get that in motion. They did trigger our evasion of 40%, but I still hit them. That was pretty impressive. So we just continue on this. I'm going to enable autoplay as soon as this finishes. We can also increase the speed here. So autoplay goes. Perfect. And really, just doing the same thing for this particular thing. So I like that they have an auto play feature. Not much variety as far as what Enjoyable, we're doing initially. So but I'm summoned on good for that. I did forget to swap out what we have here. So let's see. Sanity replenishment. I like that. And critical damage. So sanity replacement. That's going to be good. Okay, so here's our first test. We're going to go through it and see if... We did not trigger that, so that's good. We're gonna go ahead and fight Ally Frenzy. Their additional one. And we don't really have anything to heal right now, so our real focus is just make sure to complete the combat and don't die. Pretty simple approach. Some more, <clears throat> more invasion, and we this will not take them be my out. end. After each fight, again we have protection two point attack, and per evasion, per attack is going to be smarter. In this case, we just get our fortune, and we go to exit. Get our final uh, battle that we have going. So we're going to do this again have enough for that because of our sanity. So another way for us to build up our sanity when it gets low is like if we don't have any passive sanity, and we do have a bleed that we want to address, but we can switch to meditation. And meditation gives us sanity that we can build. For now we're just gonna focus on that. We're going to do this one, which is going to give us minus status effect, which is gonna be helpful for us. And let's go ahead and finish this off. Nice, I got a crit there. Oh, I am two away. Is there anything? I'm just gonna do madness. Let's. Here's the gambit. Pay attention. Let's see it. Yes, that was a close one. That life steal definitely helped us out. Okay, none of these really matter because we're leaving here for sanction. Okay, and after each time that we to return, a day goes by. We have a little thing reluctant. In terms of the, you know, can you cultists or madness to them? Let's go madness. Get some more relics. Okay, so somebody engage madness we're gonna do so each day we have different effects we have our cultists that are gonna be doing stuff if we go into the city what happens Old Town, is home of the undesired we have the ability to go ahead and check out different 
things here. So in the dock, we have this event. So a relic on it. of all Each day there is lost a glory. Thing. We are given the option. Okay. And again, the collapse. We were able to Saving on the children. Things. We can save little ones useful. Not here. Who would suspect children of serving the will go of God's long dead? In this case. Children, come here. Quickly now. And so well now done. we kind of you see? the children on our Obey side for me. what we did. So we can go ahead and travel to the different sections of the map. We can click on these. Awakened it gives us these. Those that uh, hear the each word day the awaken generates a whisper whispers are our kind of our main currency here so we want each day we want to go looking through this see what is here okay we have another event okay we can demonstrate the power and use our whispers that we can give them our gold we have plenty of gold we have plenty of power it's a toss if you can really do what you want. Let's make Isabel friendly. Um, bleed and special. No, we don't want that. So, that is good. Let's go to our chambers. Off hit. So, we have our little kids. That gives us secrets. We do have another level so let's go ahead and that oh and then we were also going to change our gifts so the reason i chose madness again is this one that we get early on it's a stun one enemy this is really going to help us out with certain things also um we can do no armor which gives us witness or we can do this which is gives us 10 percent evasion which is much better and then we can also use the ability that gives us reduces their evasion we don't have any other things though so that is all we can do here we could renovate let's see before each combat prompt may attempt to embody one aspect Ooh, arcana like for my chambers uh, an additional random active capacity will be available each combat encounter we don't have enough for that. Uh, concentrate's gonna Our get five sanctum, anointed four. by the gods. So again, there's a lot to just the different aspects of what you can renovate, what each of the boosts do. Overall, I think it's a really fun game. Very easy to get into, very simplified, but easy to understand things. Buildings not very present. You just kind of Choose what options you want and then kind of build up your Cultist as opposed to actually having any base building, but it's really cool for what it is and I give it a thumbs up If you liked what you see go ahead and give us a like and a subscribe and we'll probably be playing a little bit more of this later on so Tell us what you thought in the comments